Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Misha here back with another video. Now this video is well overdue. I already know you guys have been waiting for story time, the tea. Y'all wanna know what's been going on. So I'm here to lay it all out for you. I'm not gonna overexpose all my business, but I am gonna give you guys an overview of kind of like what's been going on with my relationships, with my breakups, with my nursing, with London, with everything. Like, it has been freaking crazy. Hopefully I don't get emotional about it, but if I do, it's okay because this is part of the healing journey. I think this is healing for me as well. Um, and the only reason why I'm kind of getting on camera and kind of talking because I said, you know what, I'm gonna start talk talking more in my videos. Um, before, you know, I just post the vlogs, the highlights, the good times, the fun times, the funny times with my family, with London. And I think that was more of like a safety net because people can't have opinions on you just living your life. Well, they can, but it won't be as depth as what it would be if you were to expose and kind of talk about your life and heartbreak and vulnerability and all those things. So we just gonna talk about it, okay? But before we get started, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Follow my Instagram page, y'all. A lot of y'all don't follow my IG, okay? It's Misha Lattimore, same handle as my YouTube name. Go follow me, I'm very active. London is very active. Y'all wanna know my business, y'all wanna know what's going on. Go follow me on my Instagram page so y'all can get updates daily on what's going on and all of that jazz. So, we gonna get into the tea. And again, before we get started, if I read negative comments, bullying comments, I will block, I will delete, and I will keep it moving. I'm to the place now where this is a safe space, this is my journey, my story. I built this platform based off of my journey, my vulnerability, and I'm going to keep doing that. And I am gonna start talking more. I'm gonna do more chit chats, more advice videos. You guys wanna know, well, how are you doing this as a single mom? How are you doing this? How are you doing your nursing? What happened with your breakup and a rain and all that stuff? And we are gonna get into all of that. We're gonna have talks, okay? I'm gonna start talking. I'm gonna start talking because I don't care, okay? <laughs> so if you guys hear noise, I have my window up. It's a beautiful morning, it's fall. I got my baseball cap, a sweater on. I got my little short hair when I chopped it off again. Uh, September 1st is when I chopped it. So I am a month and a half post chop. So we are starting over, so yeah. Um, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> to be honest uh but let's just start from the beginning or you guys seen in my last video not my last video but my last life update video i talked about my breakup um with my child's father um and how i pretty much moved from tampa back to orlando like four or five six months after my i gave birth to london because of various reasons which you guys can go look at that video I'll tag it down below so you guys can go watch that and kind of get caught up on what happened with the first breakup but uh a lot has happened and I wasn't ready to talk about it so when you guys seen what I posted back in February March um about a rain and you know him got getting married, all, all this crazy stuff. Y'all went in in the DMs, okay? Y'all was bashing him. Y'all was talking crap about Jamaican men and how they move and it was, it was funny, but it was also, it was just not a good time. Like I was just trying to kill him with kindness. I just said congratulations and I just kept moving. But y'all was going in. And then y'all came over here to the YouTube and I started posting blogs about everything else but that because I wasn't ready to deal with it. Uh, what's going on with the what happened to the, your husband, your father, your, your fiance and all this stuff. We gonna get into it, okay? But before we do, this is not a hate video towards him. This isn't, I'm not here to bash him. I love him as a father of my child. And that's just what it is, okay? So if you're expecting me to go in on him, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna tell my story, my perspective because I feel like it's warranted. I build a lot of my following based on that family dynamic, my journey. You guys were attached to that family dynamic and you guys wanna know what happened. So briefly, not briefly, but we're gonna have a little chit chat and I'm gonna tell y'all kind of what happened. Um, <clears throat> so I don't even know where to start. Lord, give me the words. 
Um, all right, so back in 2020, I moved downtown Orlando. I moved back to Orlando out of Tampa um, to start over. I started a new job in the ER. Um, just wanted a new start. The relationship wasn't working. The communication was terrible. I felt alone in my pregnancy a lot of the times. I know that he tried, but it was just, it was just not. I don't know if it's just our cultures that were different. And I'm very dominant, I'm very emotional. I'm very like, you know, I need this. I communicate very well what I need. I felt a lot of neglect. There was a lot of stonewalling that took place. Um, and just so many things that freaking happened, y'all. But I moved to Orlando. That was like the first, maybe the second breakup, because I done broke up with them like three, four times in a relationship <laughs> when I was living there. Um, and another thing too, it's kind of like, I don't want to say it's embarrassing, but it is kind of embarrassing because I posted this video of how I met him, how we fell in love and all this stuff and everything happened so fast. Like he was my boyfriend like 30 days, I moved in in 60 days, I was pregnant by 90 days. Like it was crazy. I, threw, I thought, God, like God, this has to be it for me. This is it, this is it. You guys know, you guys are not new that I dated women in the past. Like that's just part of my journey. Um, it is what it is. Say what you want. Um, and he was the first real guy that I actually dated, fell in love with, had a serious relationship with. I've dated guys in the past, but it wasn't like this. If I stop talking, it's just because people walking by with me on. Yeah, so it was heartbreaking, it was disappointing. Um even till this day it still is to have to post this video but it's necessary if it's going to help you and your journey if it's going to help you make a better decision for you yourself your kids you know what's best for you if i can add value to your life i'm going to start doing that by telling my story and and that's just what it is so pretty much i moved back to orlando before i even moved to orlando like there were so many red flags that was happening and I just overlooked and just forgave so many things. Like, there were times where I chopped my hair off. I was so insecure about chopping my hair off because he hated short hair, he loved long hair. I don't know if that's a Jamaican thing or whatever, but I would chop my hair off. I chopped my hair off while I was at my patient's house, my old patient, Cookie, um, because I was I didn't want to do it in front of him, but I, it's something I want to do. That's one thing about me. I love hard and I'm loyal and all those things, but if there's something that I want to do for me that makes me happy and it makes me feel beautiful, you as my partner, supportive partner, man, woman, whatever, should support that and make me feel beautiful regardless. And that was another red flag that is that if there's something that I did that he did not like, I he made me feel it. And I say feel it by like stonewalling me, wouldn't talk to me for weeks on end and we were in the same house. Like I answered the phone when I cut my hair off and he looked at me. <laughs> And he just hung up in my face, wouldn't answer the phone, wouldn't talk to me, wouldn't even look at me. Do you know how that makes a woman feel when the person that you love, probably your child, you're literally pregnant with their child and they just make you feel so unworthy, so unbeautiful, so just anything, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that broke my heart. And then he wouldn't talk to me for weeks, for weeks. And I would just, in the house, in the house, okay? that's considered stonewalling and that's a form of emotional abuse and i know because my therapist told me because i talked to her about it every week she was pissed off every week <laughs> but it was just a lot of things that happened like that and it was really hard to pour back into that relationship when i wasn't being poured into the way that i need to be you know that my love language you know and he just didn't understand um but whatever fast forward to me moving back to Orlando. We broke up um, September 2021, I think, August 2021. Um, I was just trying to move on with my life. You guys saw the vlogs so when I moved into my new apartment downtown. I just wanted a fresh start or whatever. We were broken up for like a good six months, okay? We would communicate about the child, but you know how that baby daddy, baby mama thing goes. You kind of talk, you kind of argue, you kind of want to know, well, what are we doing? Are we da 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 da? It was a lot of that. Um, but overall, I was living my life. I was becoming happy. I was finding my own voice, finding my own stride. And, you know, I met other people I was dating. Like, I met another person. They were great. Um, in the meantime, I was still, you know, communicating and all of those things and, you know, just trying to 
I still love my family. I still loved him at the time, you know? So it was just like, it was hard. I was always having this internal mental battle of like, do I just try to work it on my family? Do I try again? When do you give up? But how many times are you supposed to fight and fight and fight if you're fighting in something alone? Okay, so I pretty much was just confused, just all over the place. You know, I'm dating new per new person, new people, and seeing how they treat you versus what you're getting from this person, and you can't help but compare the two, right? So didn't have any interest in trying to rework anything out with me at all until one time he visited and went through my Apple Watch while I was asleep and pretty much uh, saw that someone cared about me and lost his shit, okay? Crying mad, I'm all types of bitches and hoes, everything. It just stormed out, created this huge scene, like, like what, what are you mad about? First of all, we're not together. Second of all, why are you going through my stuff? Like, it was just freaking crazy. So, that was a huge mess, but for some reason, that gave him the fire to kind of fight for the family or fight for the relationship again. And at that point, I was already like trying to move on, halfway moving on. And all of a sudden he wanted to fight for his family, move, I'm gonna move to Orlando, I'll do whatever I need to do. Okay, he got me, he got me. <laughs> so at that point it became this weird triangle, me talking to somebody and, and trying to figure out if, where he fit in, if this can still work. Cause at the end of the day, I still wanted my family at that time. I still wanted Linda to have both her parents in the house. Like I was trying to fight for that dynamic and I tried to work it out. We had some good days, some bad days, and you know, it, it seemingly got better at one point um, until it didn't. Um, fast forward to the next milestone where you guys saw, well, I don't know, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see that I posted this huge rock. Um, he proposed, we got engaged, I was so happy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm, oh my gosh, this is gonna happen, this is working out. Y'all, girl, that engagement was short-lived, okay? This is what changed the trajectory of the whole dynamic of that relationship. Um, not even two hours of me having this ring on, some woman comes out the woodwork with receipts saying, oh, so you're engaged to him now. Mind you, she's been following me apparently but now wants to pop out. You said you pop out with something, you happy, you celebrate something. Women will always try to tear that down, whatever. But he played a part in that too. So, oh, well two days ago, he was just at my house and we were just doing the do. We were together, okay? We were together. I'm like, wait, what? My mom was there? I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I pull my mom in the room, he's in the living room. And I'm like, what's going on? What? She's sending receipts, text messages, his phone number, everything he was going back and forth to Tampa to fix his truck nothing I ain't never date I would never date another trucker I would never first of all he wasn't even a trucker and decided to become a trucker without even talking to me about it and was gone most of the months and was home two three times a month one time a month if that me doing everything on my own so it was just a lot and I was just like my heart just dropped it shattered like the fact that I couldn't even be happy and celebrate the fact that I was engaged to this person for two hours before someone slid in my DM with receipts of everything he did to betray infidelity two days prior. And that was a night that I knew because he got home really late. And I'm like, what, what's going on? And my mom's like, he ain't home yet. I was like, no, everything got exposed. When I say I was devastated, I was freaking devastated. Kicked him out, all this stuff. Like just, it was a hot emotional mess. I was so mad, I posted. <laughs> I deleted it, but I, I was so heartbroken, like, because I just been through so much and I'm like, God, this can't be, this can't, this can't be what you said I was, but this can't be. See, the one time I'm trying to like do, do this whole man thing, it, this can't be like, what? He had nothing to say. He was denying. I called her. She on the phone. Oh, oh, you weren't just at my house. We were just having, like, we were just doing, I'm just like, like, what can I say? What woman's gonna lie and talk? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Da, 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 da. And the receipts were there. Like, it was just crazy, okay? But, and I'm not gonna get too but in depth, but there was infidelity that took place days before he, even, he proposed to me. We were back in a relationship. Um, I was devastated. Cause one, I don't take back cheaters at all whatsoever. I took them back. I would strike three, two, four, five, six, seven strike. Like, it was crazy. Took them back like 
a week and a half later, people are like, what the hell? What are you doing, Misha? Da, 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 da. I'm just like, okay, well, I almost felt like, well, maybe it was okay because during the time that we were not officially together, I was meeting other people, talking to other people, but we decided to start over and he just, whatever, he was just so hurt. When I'm telling you, when men find out a woman, their woman, a woman that they feel is their property, at, like step out or meet other people or someone else shows interest, it destroys their soul. Like men are babies when it comes to that. Women, we can handle a lot, we take so much, but a man, if they even see that someone else is sniffing in your direction or you sniffing in somebody else's direction, like it's just, they don't know how to act. And they do a lot of things out of hurt because hurt people hurt people. So I was, it was, it was a hot mess. I took that relationship back and I still, in, in, in spite of the embarrassment, instead of, in spite of what people had to say, I took that relationship back again, y'all. And it was just like, oh my God. But at that time, something broke. Something broke in me to the point where I could not trust this person anymore. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll we'll start over. And it, it just like brainwashed me because someone else said that they loved me or someone else was interested in me that, that warranted what he did. And that was not okay. But he, at that time, it was brain. I was brainwashed to thinking, well, maybe he's right. Maybe if I didn't meet someone else when I was we worked together, he wouldn't have felt all this hurt and just still, you know what I'm saying? But no, ladies, that is not okay. If you guys decide to work on the relationship and start over and leave the bull shit in the past, it's a clean slate. It should be a clean slate. You guys are committed to one another, and that's it. And after we did that, he still went back and betrayed me again. And it's just like, okay. And that's another thing, ladies, like a tip, if a man comes back out of pride and ego versus love, the pain will continue, okay? You will still hurt. You will be back in a relationship with someone trying to fight for your family and do what you think is right or what you think is what people want you to do. And you will still feel a void. You will still feel hurt. You will still feel like something's missing you would still feel insecure you would still feel paranoid you would still feel all these things because when a man comes back out of love and they genuinely love you and they want to fix it and they want to fight and they want to make it work you know you feel the difference you will feel secure because you will see that effort that you're putting out being matched and i just did not feel that it just was not there so ever since then yeah, we'll work it out. But I still had like in the back of my mind, like one foot out, one foot in. But that was just a safety net. That was just to protect me and my heart because I know like he's capable of doing this to me. I never thought in a million years that he would go to this extreme, you know. So that was my safety. So I was there, but I wasn't there. So we were just going through the works, you know. I'm here. Um, I moved to the house or whatever. Try to work it out. He's gone months at a time i'm doing everything by myself with my daughter i'm just trying to fill her life with love and fun and interactions like you guys see in all my vlogs that's why i do so much with her because i don't want her to feel the void of him not being here him not being active or present in her life granted you know he, he called or tried to see her here and there or whatever but it just wasn't it, this is not what i signed up for okay it's it's not what i signed up for and how many times am I supposed to just take and take and take and pour into him? And I'm I'm just over here struggling. I can be single if I gotta do everything financially, if I gotta do everything emotionally, if I gotta be the mom and the dad. I can be by myself. Like I don't I don't care. Like I'm to the point where I've I've walked away from so many relationships, and it was painful and brutal. I've been walked away from in so many relationships, and it's been painful and brutal. I'm not new to this, okay? I'm not new to pain. I'm not new to starting over. I've done it multiple times in my life. I'm not afraid to walk away. And I think that's what the problem was with him. He didn't think that I would move on or meet other people or choose myself and my happiness over him. And I think till this day, he still resents me because of that, because I chose to walk away or he thinks I chose someone else over him. That's not the case. I chose myself over him because if he's not gonna pour into me, if I can't pour into, like, how am I gonna pour into my baby? You know what I'm saying? Like, she's seeing everything. What kind of example am I setting for her? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, I can't do it anymore. So, y'all, that was back, and this ain't even the, the cool to girl of the whole story. Like, 
this we broke up okay so we've been broken up at this point um we broke back up again we probably got together for like six months and it was just me just going through the motions and going through the, the works like and i'm just like okay like it's just this is not i feel lonely i feel like what am i doing i didn't feel loved i didn't feel like i was getting the attention that i wanted i deserved like it was just a lot so at that point i didn't care i didn't care how he felt about anything like if he I didn't care. If I want to chop my hair up, fine. If you want, if I want to get my lip blushing done, fine. He hated everything I did that poured into myself. Everything I did that I felt like made me happy, made me feel beautiful, he just topped down to me. Like, there were just so many times, even me cutting my hair again, like I try to keep an amicable relationship with him. It's not great right now. It's okay. Um, but like another time I chopped my hair a month ago, like, and my trainer was like, oh my God, you look so beautiful. This is like my favorite, like look on you in your natural state or whatever. And he asked me, what do your trainer think about you and your haircut? And I was like, oh, he thinks it's beautiful. And then he said, well, you shouldn't let him lie to you like that. What? <laughs> so you're pretty much saying I'm ugly and I don't, like, I just, I've, I've taken so many things y'all. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping all over. I'm just, <laughs> um, so we're broken up, right? Um, not even, we broke up in February, okay? Of this year, of 2023, officially broken up in February, 2023. And uh, it's probably March, no, not March. Mm -mm. It's June or July of this year, a few months back, June. And I was getting off of work Monday morning with my patient. I was talking to my mom, my patient's mom. And then my mom called me and she was like, are you sitting down? I was like, no, What? why is my is my baby okay? What's going on? She's like, no, mind, it's fine. Why did you sit down? I'm thinking someone to die. But it, <laughs> I say, okay, I'm sitting down. And then she told me, mind you, we broke up in February. She told me, uh, Arain or your child's father, Arain got married. I say, huh? <laughs> what? Married, married who? And mind you, the woman that he married has the same name as me, except replaced the M with a W. Okay, same name. I'm like, what do you mean he got married? We just broke up four months ago. Oh, he's married. I mean, had a full-fledged, posted all over Instagram, full-fledged wedding, reception, bridal party, bridal shower. Hmm, okay. This was the final, 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 final. If I ever thought that we could ever, that was the final, 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 final. Okay, from the infidel, to, oh, that was the final. That, that was the final. I'm like, what? When I say my heart drop, because yeah, you break up with someone, but you, you know, you still love, you. It, it's hard when you, the love of your child's father is really hard to go away and i'm learning that now like and that's okay you can still love someone and not be with them and move on and eventually time will heal but when i found that out y'all like that was like devastating for me and what was so crazy about it was we look back at the date because you know we we, we, we research and stuff and we be looking at dates and marriage licenses and stuff the day that he got married to this other woman Four months after we broke up, I'm sorry, I don't know about y'all, but everything I've been feeling when he's on the road and him being secretive and not wanting to share his phone passcode, all this crazy stuff, like, these were all signs. He's God was showing me, it was intuition. You know what I'm saying? It was like, mm -mm, something's not right. And then when I finally walked away, I don't know if he did it out of hurt. I, I honestly think he did it out of her, honestly. And I feel bad for her, honestly, because now she has to bear my pain and take on his demons. And and not saying he's a bad person, all bad. I. Overall, I do still think he's still a good man, but maybe not for me, but he'll be a good man for someone else. But that's not my problem anymore. <laughs> All I know is that the mad thing mad thing. Like, how do we break up in February and you in a whole full-fledged wedding married to another person four months later? It could happen, it could happen. But come on, y'all. And that was just like the nail in the coffin. Like, I just knew that it just was not, this was not for me. This is too much chaos, this order. Like, I don't want London around that. London wasn't invited to the wedding. She ain't never meet this person, nothing. Like, it was freaking crazy, y'all. So, yeah, 
he he is now married to someone else um and i'm just living my life moving on my life you know dating doing my own thing and at the end of the day like it is what it is like we're still in this place where we're still trying to work out how to co-parent um you know he's seen her like a couple weeks ago uh last time he saw her was in may almost six months like and he's on the road a lot so he does travel a lot but he lives in tampa he's down the street and there's a lot of times when he's home and I don't force him to pick her up. I don't force him to see her. You know, I try whatever and I try to like, hey, you're gonna get your daughter, you're gonna da 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 da. But you can't force a person to be active, you know, in a child's life. So it's just, it's just chaos, okay, y'all? It's just chaos on top of chaos on top of chaos. So I say all this to say, um, that's that's my life update that's where we are um so if you no longer see him and my vlogs and want to know what happened we can put that to rest because now you guys know he is moved on he is married i moved on i'm moving on yes yeah, so do i still hurt do i still have moments of course i do i'm human i'm still healing this me even talking about it is part of my healing journey so it is what it is and i have to find my own journey. I have to find my own voice and revamp what my page is about. And now it's a lesson to me to not, for now, I don't think any relationship I get into going forward or any relationship that I'm in, I'm not gonna overexpose them like I did with him before because I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like so many of you guys get attached to the people in my life and then when they disappear, they'd be like, well, what happened to him? What happened to her? What happened to him? Who is this person? Blah, blah, blah. It's just a lesson for me to be a little bit more private in that department. And yeah, I'll share things with you guys, but I don't, I'm not thinking I'm going to have like this whole, unless I'm in a full fledged marriage, even still, like, I think I'm going to keep parts of that private just because of the disappointment I felt from this whole experience. So overall, again, I'm not trying to bash him. I'm not trying to bash that, but this is my story. This is my journey. Okay. And you can't be afraid to walk away. You can't. You can't be afraid to walk away. Actually, no. You can be afraid to walk away, but do it anyway, okay? You can walk away and be afraid to do it and still do it, okay? If something in your gut's telling you something isn't right, if you're getting red flags after red flags, and you're still trying to fight because of you're trying to fight for the idea of who a person could be, and women, we do that. We like to fall in love with the potential. You see all the good and the potential that they could be or who they were in the beginning. You have to look at the now. You have to look at how they're treating you now. How are they making you feel now? Are they making you better? Are they making you worse? It's like running back to a person that's constantly like hurting you. It's like you're trying to find a cure, but the cure becomes worse than the disease. Like you're running back to the disease, trying to use it as a cure. And that's the thing that caused the disease. Like, no, you have to value self-respect respect over relationship relationship over respect is not a fair exchange it's not a fair exchange so if i lose a lot of my followers because you guys no longer see the whole sexy chocolate black hubby black family dynamic i'm okay with that pleasantly respectfully exit left this unsubscribe that's fine but this journey, I'm going to be unapologetic about it. Any new followers that do come into my life and me and London's life and you guys want to be a part of our journey, I love you. I appreciate. I love all the support and I will continue to appreciate you guys subscribing and supporting. Um, but it's not like I just jumped out of this relationship. There's a lot of things that happen behind closed doors that, you know, a lot of people don't talk about and that I didn't talk about and I just tried to fight through it. But it comes a time when you have to walk away. And then the craziest part about it, y'all, I had a dream. And I told my mom, my mom said, that's the same night he got married. I had a dream where God literally showed me him getting married to someone else. It was like I was there like a fly on the wall just watching the whole thing unfold. And you just see this brown skin girl and she was all in it. She had a ring on and they were all happy and married and they got a house together and all this stuff. And it was him. And I woke up and I just woke up bawling. This was like a few months back. I was bawling all, almost like I went through the breakup, like it was fresh all over again. I just felt this pain, like just the grieving of it again, like all over again. I woke up like, God, why, why am I feeling this pain? Like, why did you show me him 
getting married? Why did you show me all of this stuff? It was like God was preparing me. God already showed me before it was exposed that this was happening. This happened. It's like God still has my back in spite of everything I've been through. And that's my strength. That's why I keep going. That's why I keep hustling and grinding and doing nursing and, and traveling and, and showing my daughter everything that I can and giving her the best life that I possibly can because God got me. And I think God is trying to show me. I'm like, God, why aren't you taking these feelings away, this hurt? Because God is trying to teach me how to live through those feelings, how to fight through those feelings. So I can depend on him and not myself, not my own strength. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's just, it's, just, it's just bigger than me. Maybe I was supposed to help you. Maybe I was supposed to help someone watching this right now who's trying to decide if they should stay in an abusive relationship or, you know, anything, you know. So I say all this just to say that I'm in a better place. I'm still healing. I still get emotional. I still cry my eyes out in the shower early in the morning at night sometimes. I'm, I just cry out before God just trying to, because I'm still healing. It hurts. It's it's the the most thing is like the disappointment, you know? Like it's just disappointing. Do I want to be back in a relationship? No. It's too much pain. It's too much hurt. It's too much devastation there. Um, I do wish him the best. I wish that marriage the best. I miss I wish everything. I hope he becomes the person that I know he could be, you know, for her or for whoever else, you know. So I'm just learning how to enjoy the good times and stop giving so much attention to the bad feelings and the bad emotions because emotions are fickle. You can feel happy one minute, you can be down the next, you can be satisfied one minute, you can be in need of something else the next, you know? So you just have to just, I'm just flowing with it. When I feel the pain, I let it come on me. I let it, I feel it and I release it. I cry, I, I scream, I laugh, I work out, I run, I distract my mind with my baby. Like I do what I have to do to keep going. So yeah, y'all, that's my update um, on what happened. So again, I'm addressing this now because I'm never addressing this again. I'm moving on. We're gonna go back to regular programming and happy vlogs with some more chit chat, some more personal um, times. If you guys wanna do Q and A's, if you guys wanna ask me questions about my nursing, where I am, let me know. I'll start filming like separate videos, you know, doing things as a pretty much single mom, like whatever you guys want to talk about. I'm here to talk about it. I want to add value to your life. I want to entertain, of course, and I want to make you laugh. I want to make you reflect, you know, so just hit me up, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm closing this chapter in my life. And if you are still going to stay along for the ride, like, I appreciate it if you decide not to. Okay. It's been, it's been real. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for listening. And again, comment down below. Let me know your story, your journey. Can you relate to this? What are your thoughts? You know, and again, let's keep it positive. Let's keep it real. And let's, let's talk about it. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.